Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. We are in free time mode right now, and I'd like to go visit Chiaki, because I'd like to know more about her character. And uh, remember in the second trial when I said the, um, the beach house is the only place you can get a wetsuit? I may have been mistaken. I may have spoken prematurely, because there's wetsuits in the supermarket. My mistake. I, uh, I apologize for that. Where's Chiaki? Where you at? Oh, you're here. You're at the hotel. Well, ain't that fortunate. <sighs> there were a bunch of laptops at the street stall, but none of them had any games installed. But, I should probably check one more time. I might have overlooked one. Should I hang out with Chiaki? Yep. You wanna join me? Yeah, that's fine. I spent time today fishing through laptops with Chiaki. Are these dialogues chapter specific? Cause that would be cool. It means you'd have something to look forward to every chapter, every encounter. I would like to give Chiaki a present. I have something that's right up your alley. And believe it or not, well? How did you know I wanted that? I'm totally surprised. I never expected you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. You've made me really happy. She's staring off into space again, as usual. Sorry. I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Hmm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping. Yeah, same. When I'm gaming, I forget about everything else. Sometimes even forget to breathe. That's not good. Plus, I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask what kind of dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Um... The statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that game also takes place on a tropical island. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you must really enjoy games, huh, Chiaki? Hmm. How should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. Or maybe life is just a game. Okay, that's a little unhealthy. Real life is real life. Games are games. Even I know this. But still... Either way, that's all the more reason why killings shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you just focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean games always have to have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are ways of enjoying those, too. That's why bizarre games are fun. You can beat them as long as you do your very best. As expected of the ultimate gamer, I would probably just give up on a game like that. <laughs> Let me tell you something, have you played the Drakengard series? That's certainly a game. That's certainly a series. But to tell you the, to, to tell you the truth, there's one type of game that I'm not really good at. I see. What is it? I won't tell you. Ah, teasing me until the next interaction, I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a little better. So I guess that's good enough for now. Wonderful! I parted ways with Chiaki and went back to my room. It's still bright outside, there's no way I should just stay in my room and stare into space. It might be good for me to, for me to talk to everyone, whenever I have the time. Now I realize diversity is encouraged in Danganronpa, but I am really interested in Chiaki. Where's the map? There's the map. Still in the hotel lobby, eh? <laughs> I'll talk to you again. I wonder what happens if you give someone the same gift, because in Danganronpa 1 it was perfectly okay. They accepted it like it was something new every single time. But I'm not sure if they, they updated that for Danganronpa 2. Perfect time to test, ain't it? What should I do? She seems really focused on gaming. Should I ask if she wants to hang out? Mm. I lost my focus and got, got killed. It's gonna be fine. Oh, you don't really have to worry about it. 
I mean, I was doing pretty well, but now I have to do it all over again. <sighs> and it was my very first time getting that far, too. I spent today trying to ease Chiaki, who seemed to be holding a slight grudge. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Sweet, it works. Isn't that a pretty rare item? Thanks. This seems a little... I feel like it might raise the flag. Is she sleeping again? Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and rest? Morning. Since you're here, let's talk. <laughs> if you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. That's a mouthful. Warlock Lord. My adventure ended like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you don't get my Shadowgate joke. Hey, if you're bored, do you want to go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. Hmm. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, huh? Not the park, that's where bad things are. The airport doesn't seem very fun. Should we go check out the supermarket? Yep. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. That sounds like Dead Rising. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. It sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Chiaki is okay with it. Chiaki and I walked to the supermarket together. We walked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place has too much of everything. What happened, Chiaki? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for Girls' Day. Man, this place seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during Girls' Day, you know? Huh? What's Girls' Day? Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl? Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Ah, crap. I'm sure she has her reasons for not knowing. But even so, I... No, it's nothing. Forget about what I said. Uh... Nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother... No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Hey, hey. So what is Girls' Day, anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. Well, that sounds like fun. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. Hmm. I see. <laughs> That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this. But for her not to know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Yeah, I can, yeah. I, I now fully understand why people really like Chiaki. I took Chiaki back to her room, otherwise she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Is it time for another story event? Ahem! Hope it is not- Please return to your- Now then, sweet- Yes, yes, Monokuma. It's not like I have anything I need to do, so I should just get some sleep for today. It should be okay to have a peaceful day like this for a change. You guys? It's a waste of time to constantly worry about things. Well, if you really want to waste time that badly, I won't stop you. I'm not saying that killing meaningless time is bad or anything. I mean, even happy times, sad times, painful times, fun times, times you want to remember or want to forget, they all end up being nostalgic memories eventually. So, isn't killing time by worrying about things an effective way of dealing with that worry? <laughs> Do your best at worrying about things and killing time. So are these Monokuma theaters supposed to be like philosophical tidbits in between the mystery story? Ahem. Good nom nom nomming. Did you just interrupt the announcement? Looks like today's gonna be another perfect tropical day. What the? <laughs> what a huge success! I received such a, such a nice reaction. Ibuki, how'd you get in here? 
Jeez, Hajime, you're so careless. Careless? I made sure I locked the door. And I destroyed that worthless lock. Why'd you destroy it? Hey, hey! Who cares? More importantly, there's something important I need to tell you. What? <laughs> no, that was just three. <laughs> if you got the time to nitpick others, then hurry up and meet me at the restaurant. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain the details there. So, I'm counting on you. She's like a hurricane. But she did take the time to come all the way to my cottage to summon me. Did something bad happen again? I'm feeling a little depressed now. Now, let's, let's, uh, I, I'm very concerned about, that's not the one I want. Can you just break locks? Can you just break someone's cottage lock? Murder. Blackened. 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 Body discovery. Destroying any, mm, destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. I'm not sure if that lock on the door was island property. And I'm not sure if Ibuki is going to pay any sort of price for barging in on Hajime. Hello, Nekomaru. <laughs> oh, it's you, Hajime. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Okay. Ibuki knows something. Ibuki has investigated something. Yeah, it seems so. Has she been going around waking people up? Did she break the lock to your room too? Dad, to your room too? No! That never happened! I was awakened by a knock at my door going at a 337 clapping rhythm and some shouting. That sounds extremely annoying. Was I the only one whose room got broken into? Huh? But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world else happened? Gah! I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over. He's right. I should hurry up too. Now I'm on edge. Anything could happen. When I arrived at the restaurant, the first thing I saw was... Everyone's backs, as if they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulders. I got something I wanna say. Oh, look at this badass. Punished Fuyuhiko. No greater good, no just cause. Fuyuhiko? Is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, he shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced boo yu he ko Are you high? I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. Uh, he's remedying his past ways. He's, uh, apologizing for his lone wolf behavior. Is that what I'm getting here? You fiend. Just, what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing, really. Just a greeting. There's no way that was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like that was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> now that eye patch of yours. Nothing. There's no way that's nothing, since that eye is no longer... Mm. So you can't see out of it, huh? Huh. It's only one eye. Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However... Fuyuhiko. Huh. Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Hiyoko? You... Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It's your fault Mahiro is dead. No, not just Mihiro. Pekko died because of you, too. Hey! It's all your fault. Oh. Hey, Yoko. We've finally been able to get together with everyone. And? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It's all my fault. I already know that. It's my fault that those two are dead. Are you planning to just give us your so what attitude? I... It's not that. As he squeezed out those words, Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me! Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just dropped your knees and cry? 
Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. Now see, I think this is why Monokuma sets up the Blackened system. No, 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 it's not why Monokuma sets it up, it just makes sense that there's like, uh, that the killer gets executed so that there's no lingering feelings of, of hatred toward the killer. Hmm. What is this? Huh? This is... Ah! It's blood! It's blood! Ah! Fuyuhiko has slit his own stomach! Huh? Ah! Are you saying he cut open his own friggin' stomach? What the... Wh what are you doing? I didn't think... I'd be forgiven by such a half-assed apology. If I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. That doesn't mean you should slice your stomach. <laughs> we must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. You're right. Kazuichi, lend me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Stop it. I can walk there myself. There's no way you can walk. Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. I feel so ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone again. Uh, uh, yeah. Who cares about that? Let's go! The others carried Fuyuhiko out of the restaurant. But for those of us who are left there... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation? Are you satisfied, Hyoko? He has shown his remorse. He has shown his sorrow. He has cut open his own body to appease you. How do you feel? I know that you can't bring Mahiru back from the dead. Nor Peko. So, what's your reaction to this? Well? Hey, Hyoko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mahiru say about all this? I think... I know you guys are best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what would Mahiru say? What would Mahiro say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... She'd probably say something like, Oh, this is what boys do. It's definitely not possible. There's no way it'd be that easy to move on. We never had to think about death until we came to, to this island. So when we're forced to suddenly confront it, there's no way we'd know how we're supposed to deal with it. We're... Not that strong. Hey. Hmm. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now's not the best time. No, it's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Oh, she's doing something that Nekomaru advised her not to do. I don't know. Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. Hmm. I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, hasn't she been acting a little weird these past few days? How pitiful. She's always weird. Mm. Gundam Tanaka saying somebody else is weird. That's a first. But I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we all decided to return to our cottages. I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put that feeling aside and move on. There's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. What? That's literally the opposite of free time. What are you smoking, Hajime? Alright, let's see uh, who's in the vicinity. I'm willing to talk to anyone at this point. <laughs> Let's go to Gundam Tanaka. Let's visit Gundam Tanaka. Let's unlock as much of his story as we can. Let's see if we can max him out. Screw you, Nagato. I don't want to know about you. I'm sure you... What? Hajime. After the first killing, we all swore we would work together. The killings just don't end. Why? Wasn't, uh, wasn't Tanaka here? Somewhere around here? 
hotel lobby. Or is he in his, uh, his cottage? Uh, he's in his cottage, that's why. I'm a dum-dum. I was looking at the overall picture. Off we go, then. Who goes there? Aw, oh, this is adorable. Look, he's got a rocking chair. This dude has a rocking chair. He is adorable. Fall, my tears. Purifying your sins is not easy to do. If offering your life was enough to receive forgiveness, there would be no tragedies in this world. What should I do? Can I even hang out with something like Gundam? Fine. Feeling sin is proof that you exist in a higher plane of being. In that sense, you should be proud of yourself, human. Gundam lectured me today on the ecology of animals. I believe I still have some sunflower seeds for you. I stocked up on like four. There we go. You fiend. Surely I never expected a mere human such as you to possess such a legendary treasure. Regardless, you will not be able to control it. It was wise of you to hand it over to me. <laughs> I will gladly use it. I can see it! Don't get any closer. I already know what you're thinking. What do you know that even I don't know? So you have appeared. Now then, summon your familiar. N no, I don't have anything like that. You fiend. You've come challenging me many times. I thought you would finally obtained at least one familiar. <laughs> just as I thought, you were just a mere human. And a strange one at that. Despite what he's saying, Gundam doesn't seem all that annoyed. Is he opening up to me a little? How pitiful. However, you probably don't understand how pointless this place is for a demon beast tamer. Now that you mention it, even though this is a tropical island, I don't really see any wild animals. Fine. If this place really was a normal tropical island, I wouldn't have time to talk to you so freely. Many beasts inhabit the thick forests. There may even be rare species that only exist in this land. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tingle. Wow, he's smiling right now. Uh, I seem to recall seeing a cow at the ranch. Let me tell you this. I'm not interested in some domesticated animal. I had a feeling you said that you'd say that. Fall, my tears. After all, I cannot look at it without feeling pity. Huh? That's a bit unexpected. How pitiful. Such creatures are born to be eaten by humans. Even if I had the all-seeing eye, I couldn't change that fate. Thus, I try not to involve myself with livestock. It would bring a calamity onto my mind, after all. Gundam understands the feelings of animals, so this must be a complicated subject for him. This body is uncooperative. I appear to be getting oddly sentimental, since I haven't encountered any new demon beasts. I've tamed various creatures such as the Cerberus, the Phoenix, and even the Midgard Serpent. He probably means dogs, birds, and lizards. When you say tamed, what exactly does that entail? <laughs> I guess it's fine to tell a mere human. I don't believe that you'll get in my way. Listen well! Basically, you must say, good girl, good girl. Huh? You must repeatedly speak to them, and make sure they understand that there is no ill will on your our end. In order to do that, you need to appear innocent. This, too, must be the will of causality. Of course, there are some who like to be touched, and some that don't. It's better if you keep these basics down. It appears you cannot escape. Afterward, as long as you spend a long time together, you'll eventually start to hear your partner's words. I'm pretty sure that only happens to ultimate breeders. But Gundam seems different from usual when he talks about animals. Somehow his face seems gentler. He must really love animals. Fine. Now then, I wonder if there are evil demon beasts that will rile me up on this island somewhere. Monokuma and, Monokuma and Monomi are sort of shaped like animals. I renounce you! They are no good. Anything that can talk will eventually betray you. How pitiful. And most importantly, they aren't cute. I agree. But I don't plan to betray you at all. <laughs> Such exaggerations coming from a mere human like you. However, that's a nice line. Gundam left the area with a different smile on his face than usual. I hope we will be able to understand each other, even if it's just a little bit of a time at a time. 
conversations with him are really comfy. Like, I enjoy, I genuinely enjoy talking with this guy. After seeing Gundam walk away, I left the area. Come for the aesthetic, stay for the personality, am I right? You know, his kindness, like his implicit, like, under undertone kindness, he reminds me a lot of Chihiro. Remember Chihiro didn't want to hurt a fly? He wasn't even capable of thinking about killing someone? Gundam's attitude towards animals, he's very considerate of them, and I really appreciate that. Brings a smile to my face. It's still bright out. There's still plenty of time today. There's no way I can just stay here and do nothing. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Once more, let's talk to Gundam Tanaka. I really want to unlock his whole story as soon as possible. That's something I really want to accomplish. I apologize if this is grading on on it on on uh, on you, but I do what I want. He is at the ranch. Big surprise, eh? I thought he said he didn't like domesticated animals. Hey, Sonya's here too. You fiend. Do not anger me. I don't feel like talking to a mongrel right now. He's gonna okay. <laughs> so you're not a mongrel. If you flinch, you will die! Fine, then try to prove to me what you are. Gundam and I got fired up quizzing each other on the ecology of animals. Looks like Gundam and I grew cl closer today. Once again, the sunflower seeds. My saviors. You fiend. <laughs> you are rather nice. Be happy! As long as this treasure is within my grasp, I shall never forget this day. You fiend. Hold it. If you come any closer. I know, I know, I won't get close to you. This, too, must be the will of causality. It appears that you finally noticed. The blood that flows within me bears a fearsome curse. Uh, of course it does. How pitiful. Ever since I was young, this body of mine was exposed to so many poisons that it became poisonous itself. If a mere human like you ever touched me, you will immediately decompose and wither away. Thus, I've been trying to make sure you don't get too close to me. Does that mean you've been thinking of me? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Even if you're just a foolish human, I'm not so cruel as to yearn for a meaningless death. Can I assume that he's blushing? Is he a male tsundere? But he says his blood is poison. What would be the advantage of that? Silence. It's not an issue of gains and losses. I became like this because I had to. I have to be like this even if I don't want to be. I've been putting poison in my body ever since I was young. Sounds somewhat plausible. Could it be... Was your mother's cooking bad? Yeah. <laughs> Poor Gundam. Crap, I was only joking, but it sounds like that was exactly it. Impossible! You wouldn't understand how much pain I had to endure. Plus, that woman would cry if I didn't finish my plate. What choice did I have but to suffer in silence? Don't you feel better now that you've talked about it? I mean, you're actually a really kind guy. That was close. Anyway, now that you understand, you shouldn't come any closer to me. Know that if you ever touch me, it would mean death for you. But that's really lonesome. Hey, Gundam, can I ask you something? Fine. If you have the fortitude to ask me that. I didn't even say anything yet. When you were in grade school, did you ever hold hands with any of the other- any of the- any of the- any of the- any of the, any of the Can you lubricate my tongue, Gundam? With any of the other kids? It's obvious now, but at the time I was faking my condition. <laughs> By new, moving next to the teacher who served me, I was able to avoid questions and survive without any problems. Did you ever have to do a folk dance? Impossible! You don't understand. That is a ceremony for summoning evil deities. Fortunately, the school nurse was in the same tribe as me, so I was able to leave without ever getting involved. Uh, I see. It might have been bad of me to point out something so unnecessary. I don't know what to say to him anymore. So then, what kind of people are okay to get close to you? Anyone whose power matches my own. Or... <laughs> no, there's no way such a being exists. You should just forget about that. For your sake. With those words, Gundam walked away. 
He seemed very lonely. What was he going to say? If he'd just told me, maybe I could have done something about it. And if I had, maybe he wouldn't have shouted nonsense at me. After seeing Gundam walk away, I returned to my room. The structure is very rigid. Two free time events, story event. Two free time events, story event. I suppose that's what it was like in the, uh, in Danganronpa 1, but it's seeming very apparent now. It's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already, huh? That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, a day passes by abnormally fast. The doorbell? Does that mean someone's here? I cautiously walked toward the door and opened it slowly, wary of my, what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya! Couldn't she just barge in because she broke the lock? I feel like that's gonna come into play in the trial. Ibuki breaks locks. And that's why that's why someone dies. Oh, apologies. <laughs> it's the past tense of nice to meet you. You know, since you've already exchanged nice to meet you's. Ibuki, you again. That's totally it! Allow me to apologize for surprising you with my sudden visit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> you must be the type who holds grudges. My ears and joints hurt. That means you have gout. So what do you want? Um... Ibuki doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes! See, this thing. What the? That's totally a girl's writing. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiko at Titty Typhoon at 9pm. Didn't he stab himself in the stomach? He hasn't exactly recovered. I mean... I suppose he's recovered from, like, the Peko's inflictions. I don't know, man. What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why, you? How rude! Don't put that in the same category as Monokuma. Is this your doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. Ibuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Ibuki has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead. I'll leave it to you. She even said preparations. She's completely behind this. Titty Typhoon is that music venue on the third island, right? 9 p.m. That's in 30 minutes. But even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he even going to be able to come? After all, he just slit his stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill. I guess I should have her head over to the music venue. Alright, 33 minutes have passed, so I think I'll end it there. I hope you enjoyed all the Gundam uh, Tanaka free time events as well as the Chiaki ones two very very good characters well I don't, I don't know about Chiaki I mean she's cute and she knows a lot about video games but I feel that's her only those are her only two personality traits she's reasonably intelligent we've discerned that um yeah I'm, I'm really attached to Gundam Tanaka I'm totally gay for him just like I was gay for Chihiro <laughs> Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair is available on Steam and the Vita for $30. The sequel, not, mmm, keep, I keep doing that, I'm sorry. Mmm. Thank you very much for watching. Please pick up Danganronpa 2 if you can. Toodaloo.